okay so guys today we'll discuss about the query builder so first the simple query builder is nothing but the tools or the framework that is developed by the adobe for writing the simple and efficient query so how we can create the query builder so query builder is just simple api it's not a programming language like here you see at the down here we have a query languages so xpath jcr sql2 and this sql these are nothing but the query languages so there they have their own engine for executing the language but when we are talking about the query builder so query builder don't have anything don't have any engine so uh, they will take the help from the xpath or the jcr sql2 for executing the query builder simple so here for writing the api we use query builder simply and they have provided one interface uh, you can just uh, try and execute the query builder that means you can just uh, dry run if you want to check it this query builder is executing or not so you can just simply come here and check it okay so for that we have to type this path that is http localhost 4502 libcq search content and the query debug dot html just simply copy it go there okay here localhost libs cq Content is there. CQ search content and the query builder. When you are hitting enter, you will get the data. See, uh, this is our GUI. So, query builder provided the GUI for writing the query builders. Simple. Okay. So here we have to write the query. So how we can write the query is the first of all, we have to write the predicate. Once you have written the predicate after that, with predicate, we have to write the key and equals to value. Okay, so this is the thing, we have to write it. So sometimes, uh, what does it mean by the predicate? This predicate is mirror for your query builder. Simply, and it has attached with the key. So sometimes this predicate is also treated as a key. Okay. So here we have a lot of predicates, just like uh, here we have a path type. Uh, if you want to uh, make the queries in ascending or the descending order, so for that we have a ascending descending. Here we have a properties. If you want to find out the full text, just like uh, any name you want to find out from your CRXD, then you can simply use this full text. Here we have a date range. If you want to find the node name, you can use the node name as well. Okay so this is the query so how this predicate will execute okay so here just like in our java we have a compiler for executing the uh, for executing the java program the same thing in our query builder we have a predicate evaluator okay we have a different types of predicate evaluator it's not only one so when you are going in your query builder here we have options of the available predicates you can just simply click here and once you are clicking these are nothing but your predicates okay so just open it anyone so which one it is okay resource no case predicate evaluator but who is executing this predicate predicate this predicate evaluator okay after that just try to open it different one so this one is our group so here we have one predicate that is group predicate and this group predicate is executed by this predicate evaluator okay through this predicate group evaluator for everything just like this is the group this group is nothing but our uh, predicate so for that they have created one special class that is predicate group evaluator okay so if i'm just opening this just open here this is the main asset this main asset is also nothing but the predicate only and this predicate is executed by this predicate evaluator here after that we and uh, it will execute by this predicate evaluator but by through this damn main assets predicate so simply for this main assets they have created one class and uh, this predicate group will go through this class and will execute this main assets got it okay yeah uh, this is the thing how we can write the predicate now so just come here okay how we can write it 
so now i'm just showing some of the example just like now if i want to search the components otherwise i just want to search the page pages in my project so how i can search it so simply here we have one predicate that is type by using this type predicate you can search any node so your page is also nothing but the node only okay so equals to and just type what i want to search that is cq page cq colon page okay just search it okay so how many result it has returning 1768 result it has returning but it is showing only this 10 here you see if you count so it will only 10 result is there if you want to print then you can just simply see uh, right now it is showing only 10 but uh, result it is returning 1768 if you want to see this all the things you just have to type these things like p dot limit is equals to minus 1 just try to search it now you will get all the result see okay so where we are getting the result inside this result page and what is the object of this page that is p this is the p is nothing but the object of this result okay so whenever you want to perform some operation on this result page you have to use this payoff p object okay and here what we are doing we are setting the limits right now minus one that means infinity so if here we have a thousand page so all this thousand page will print okay but if you are searching if you are just typing here 20 so only 20 pages will print just try to search it see it is printing only 20 pages okay if you want only two pages you can just simply select two and just search it okay so it will print from the start zero and one so that is nothing but this template type and this initial this is nothing but your pages but now the thing is like how many pages we have if we are, if i'm writing here minus one how many pages we have a 1768 pages and now i just want to start from the 100 page okay so here we are getting all the pages i don't want this 0 1 2 3 till 100 i don't want it i just want from the 100 so how we can set the pagination this is called as a pagination when we set the starting and the ending this is nothing but the pagination okay so i'm just now i'm just setting my starting point and i'm just setting my starting point from the 100 so how we can do that thing so here we we want to print it so you can just simply do p dot offset is equals to 100 okay and what is now what it has printing first of all it has printing template type and second it has printing initial and what is in our 100 just search it see now it has printing the different one okay same result it has returning but it has printing this 100 one right now it has it hasn't printing this in template type and initial why because it's gone it hasn't gone it, it it's there only but it will print from the 100 till end okay this is the thing now here what we are searching okay so it's for all our crxd what we have searched we have searched for uh, for all our crxd but i don't want to search for the all my crxd i just want to search for my project only so let me open the crxd okay i open and where is my project uh, consider uh, this search is our project okay so i'm just simply copying this and inside this search if i want to search how many how many pages is there then you can just simply type here path this path is also nothing but our predicate only this path is also nothing but our predicate so you can just simply search uh, you can just simply paste here and simply search it okay so number of feeds it has returning two but it hasn't showing why because we have start from the hundred index we have start from the hundred and it hasn't present hundred here so just remove this and just try to search now you will get two pages is there any issue till now 
yeah so simple we have searched the cq page and after that what we have done uh, we are trying to search the cq pages okay so here i have defined the type and from this path i just want to search the type that is cq page and it's go till minus one that means at the end okay this is the thing yeah guess total now i'll show you guess total okay so here you see remember this so when you are clicking here when you are executing search so it has returning two paths uh, two pages is are returning okay but when you are clicking here this json query builder link is there so here you see it has showing some options so our query has executed successfully so that's why it has written true okay it has returning two two results so that's why two is there total result is two only uh, if you have a more than c it has printing only two results here where where is this okay so here only two result is printing okay and if you have more than this two result consider 100 result we have and we are only printing two then this case it will return true here but right now we don't have any pages we don't have any result so that's why it is returning here false okay after that from where we are starting we are starting from the index zero so that's why it has written in the zero index and what are the properties it has returning so it has returning this path okay it has returning this path expert name title and the created so these are the things it has returning okay now we'll just do one thing we'll try to find out some properties for finding the properties we have to use the property here we have one uh, here we have one annotation sorry we have one predicate that is property by using this property we can search the properties so right now i just want to find out the jcr title you can just simply use this jcr title okay so search it yeah so it has written in two why because inside this page this en page and this us page we have a two titles 